Welcome, welcome back. And especially up on Okanye Sakakuli. And of course, I'm in Dota. I'm here with my main man. Mr. Mayor, we in the building. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, this part of the show, we're still keeping in track in everything that has to do with the environment. We brought you those beautiful people in studio, and we still got another man in studio who's going to give us everything all that has to do with the environment, man. So there you have all things environment, all things eco. Currently in the building, we've got uh, Hudson from the Oda Melding uh, Village, right? Uh, to joining us here. Just an uh, introduction from your side to our viewers back at home as to who you are and what exactly it is that you do. My name is Hudson McCone. I yep. stay in the Odomo and Eco Village. Uh, it's on the border of the wetlands in Pinelands mm -hmm. and also partly in observatory. In yeah. That area. Oh, okay. So, you know, just tell us some of the measures um, that Eco Village um, takes to protect the environment and what core cool activities you guys um, have in place. Well, firstly, the village is made up of 50 small enterprises from woodwork, metalwork, uh, film company uh, types of enterprises. Uh, we've got a backpackers, we've got NGOs, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the uh, environmental projects that we've got is teaching young people in permaculture and uh, organic farming. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got a sports and jazz foundation yeah. that does a whole lot of training uh, with youth. Uh, but specifically recycling is what we do a lot of, oh, and okay. also when it comes to training people in permaculture and organic farming. Oh, all right. Brilliant stuff. Tell us a little bit more also about your micro enterprise uh, development, just in terms of the job creation for the youth and for the kids. Are there? What are you guys doing on that on that spectrum? At the moment, we've got fifty small enterprises, and yeah. they collectively um, provide employment to up to three hundred and fifty people a month. Uh, in terms of the future, we want to expand that, and our future uh, development idea is to get the, the city and the government uh, to give us a 50-year lease for the property so we can expand the micro-enterprises on the village. Mm -hmm. And then we provide a whole lot of job shadowing opportunities mm -hmm. for young people. Yeah. Amazing. And do you guys, get any, do you guys get, any, get any help from the community or government? Uh, from the community, we have a lot of volunteers that come from the community get involved, also support the, the enterprises on the village. You know, we have horse riding, a lot of recreation in terms of a, uh, um, we've got a swimming pool and they have briar and picnic facilities there. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of the community that basically benefit from and use the facilities mm -hmm. and also support, you know, the small yeah. enterprises on the village. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah. All right, Hudson, I know we're going to have some pictures come up on the screen in a couple of seconds. I just want you to maybe explain to us certain, some of the things that are happening. Tell us what's happening over there. Well, these are some of the products that were made on the village. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we were just showcasing those products on it was one, one of the sort of open days that we had on the village. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, and these are some of the woodwork projects that people, products that people make, yes. Nice. Okay, and that's... This is some of the buildings looked like this when we arrived in 1997. So there's quite a range of vandalized... Uh, premises like that and this is the it's more wow. before and after this nice. is what one of the, uh, the premises look like now mm -hmm. uh, all this development took place from the enterprise owners themselves we got no money from the government mm -hmm. so people really dug into their own pockets to you know, fix the place up and uh, improve on it you know yeah uh, this is this, that picture is from a craft market that we had uh, in the summertime mm -hmm. that is a property from the air Oh, okay. um, it's difficult to show from here. Yeah. Is, but, uh, <laughs> you know, that's the one picture of the property, but the next picture is really what the government wants to do with the property, which we are hoping to convince them not to do. Oh, They're okay. looking at putting a Manhattan-style high-rise development on top of the property. Yeah. Uh, we believe we can generate a lot more income in direct and uh, indirect income uh, yeah. to province and <coughs> to the communities in the area with the uh, ideas that we've got for the future yeah. of the project. Uh, Okay, cool. And that's now just rego with regards to what all you guys are doing. What is uh, tell me what is the main vision of you guys at the Odomo and Eco Village? What is it exactly? What do you guys want to push forward? What is the the agenda? Mm -hmm. Well, the, we've got several best international best practices we wrapped up together, so they're very integrated. Yeah. Uh, so running the village is a non-profit organization, but as a social enterprise, so that funds and the profits that we make can go back into the community rather than in dividends to, say, shareholders. Yeah. And there's a whole range of best practices that we're working towards. But the ideal scenario is to give, convince government to give us a 50-year lease so we can pursue a long-term vision for the, for the village. Oh, okay. Okay. And what are your thoughts on the environment, South African environment? Do you think that it's really deteriorating or are people Very doing the right so. thing? Look, I mean, you know, protecting wetlands and the rivers that we've got, the river systems that we've got, that's essential. 
you know, our whole focus is very much what Richard Branson is pushing now, mm -hmm. and it's planet, people, profit. Yeah. In the past, we've always had profit, people, planet, so planet has come last. Uh -oh. For us, the emphasis should be, we need to have sustainable development, but it needs to be, the planet needs to be first. Yeah. It's really essential, especially if we want to mm -hmm. uh, uh, leave a legacy for young people in the future, you know. And yeah. do you think that people um, in the high places are doing the right things to ensure that the environment is looked after? Are they having programs put in place? I think there, a lot of education is required. A lot of people are still stuck in the profit driven approach mm -hmm. which is very capitalistic they call it a, a trickle down effect model yeah uh, you know that trickle down effect model <coughs> is it's very um, outdated oh, it hasn't yeah. benefited our society uh, they're proving now and evidence shows that small enterprises are the way for the yeah. future small enterprises in South Africa has produced more jobs than mm -hmm. the corporates and in the next 50 years will produce more, more jobs yeah. than the corporates you know so for me small enterprise development the planet first and then sustainability you know those are the principles that we need to apply all the time you know yeah all right, all right. and now i mean with regards to you guys there's the npo so for them what are some of the challenges you guys are facing uh, i know you have this few from the government and so forth i mean just uh, within within the within the system where you guys are at look we've got a very vibrant community yeah. in the village itself I think we could actually make a soapy very much like the Mitchell's so, brand, <laughs> you know, yeah. just in terms of the, um, uh, the sort of dynamics we have on the community yeah. there. But we've got a very cohesive uh, community, very passionate about the environment. Everybody's, you know, committed to recycling, job creation, you know, a whole range of things that yeah. really brings us together. Um, in terms of challenges, it's always finances, you know, but uh, mm -hmm. if we can get a 50-year lease, at least we are confident we could get co corporate social investment funding oh, for okay. the future of the, of the, of That's the village. That's the way forward, yeah. yeah. And what are some of the um, future proposals that you guys have for the village? Well, we put a proposal together to the World Design Capital Project in 2014, mm -hmm. and of 2,500 submissions, we were one of 450 that was yeah. a World Design Capital Project. So that in itself was a significant um, award, if you want to say that, you know, oh, in okay. terms of uh, accepting what we've done. There's been a lot of commitment, a lot of passion from the enterprises themselves, but we really epitomize what we call social enterprise. Nice. Oh, okay. I mean, just final, for finally from Yatsu, now just any, I um, mean, any, uh, any words of wisdom or any uh, that you can give to some kids, you know, kind of who also want to kind of get into the eco-friendly type thing and also want to be part of what you guys are doing, anything that you, that you feel like you need to share with them? Well, I'd say people should come and visit us. You know, we are, uh, the Odomolan village is on Alexandra <coughs> Road uh, in Pinus, next to Vincent Pilotti. So yeah. please bring your young people, come and enjoy the place there. There's picnic facilities, there's horse riding, pony rides. You can hike on the wetlands, you can bring your bike, you bring your dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lovely place for young people to be. Yeah. And they can come and learn about organic farming, permaculture, recycling, a whole range of things. So if people come and enjoy themselves in the village, that'll be great. Amazing okay. stuff, man. Okay, thank you so much for joining us so on the show. Justin. We brought you everything that has to do with the environment. We're going to take a quick ad break and we're going to look at everything that has to do with health. Thank you.